the lecture last night after Howard Dosser. Part one. Life is a travesty. I've endured even worse. Used to be a time when cognizance had the better of me. When I believed in the aura of authenticity. If I hadn't had too much to drink. Now I am a cog. Meetings and salary. A healthy diet. Recycling bins. Subjectivity. Frankly, academic. I even laugh at my boss's jokes. Used to be the kid who renounced conformity. No hope for love or popularity. Now I'm a participant. Debates and discussions. Clean socks and gas heating. Essence was certainly secondary to substance. Abuse. Don't get me wrong, I despised being, truly, it wasn't purpose I lacked. I have it now and don't like it. What I missed was the vision, or oh, wisdom, to perceive the voids of hedonism. Now that the spade is called a spade, all too often I am speechless. Contrivance of the symbolic surrounds me. Can't I curse God again, even if he doesn't exist, without a bad science? Can't one shoot an oblivious Arab on the beach for old time's sake? I even compliment my aunt on her cooking. I perv obediently on women in online advertisements. The normative has consumed me. I've become a human. Part 2. On the way to the lecture, I noticed the footpath widened to accommodate two-way traffic of effervescent teenage shoppers. In what was only six years ago, a spooky, run-down suburb. How self-deception dissolves all in its path of necessity. On the way to the lecture on existential love, one week night, waiting for the tram, I overheard a soft-spoken man give directions for an authentic Thai restaurant on his Blackberry. Later, on the tram, a mentally ill tramp grumbled to himself about the bitch who took his sandwich maker. Is the jury still out on religion or do we see it as the license for a will to power? I see people being what they want to be. Free, dumb, style, choice, abound. On the way to the monthly lecture of Melbourne's existentialist society, I am the autonomous agent who chooses the singular special deal, half price donut with a coffee. At the 7-Eleven, opposite where I get off, the tram. An absurd dinner indeed. I spill. Jam on my jacket. I always do. On the way to the church building, where the secretary of the Atheist Society chairs tonight's lecture. Irony isn't a mark of a true being or is it illusions illusions the lecture begins part three but how do i account for this love so much oppression i've seen and felt can't undo the notion of my your integrity if i can't sense you 
at the level of vitality won't we touch as mere sacred bodies so much simulation i've lived with can't refuse the passion for the real shattering originality where do i trace the tangible locus of this love so much consternation i've been offered can't oust sensation of attachment however transient and why do i need this love so much sedation by the opiates of religion fact information can't turn me off truth entirely love has brought me to be sexual ineffable part 4 after the lecture i'm hungry and have an overpriced falafel angry drunks outside smith street woolworths gone supplanted by su suave african tourists windows of shops proclaim the glory of saving money on wine glasses hand knitted scarves i tend to agree with adorno a proper the uh, jargon of authenticity capitalism has made a killing from our existential obsessions i am an unnamed soldier i march with dread towards monday morning office computer and ripples of status anxiety in the eyes of battled hardened colleagues the tram slithers past my old northcote joint a warren actually there i survived on alcohol dope fantasy until love's insubstantiality lured me to her proximity am i sufficiently committed to my innateness when i get off the tram darkness of the street doesn't obscure the path to the small flat where loved ones sleep it was interesting the lecture last night i'll tell her in the morning before roaring chasing marco as a velociraptor and at work i will maintain a sort of smile i will sense the point of existence the price of being